people studying for CCNA Voice often ask me, what's, what's the best way to study? Um, what's the best material? How do I best prepare for this? Not only for the exam, but for the real world. How do I make sure I'm successful? Um, and I would say, and I know this is going to sound cheesy, uh, but build this in your house. You could have calling from your bedroom to your office to your, your kitchen, and you could have you know a few couple IP phones and call between each one of those. And they go, okay, well, why would I do that? And I say, well, because it's pretty neat, um, not only to be able to do that and have, have uh, calling within your house, but it's not too hard to transfer those skills to the real world. Instead of your kitchen, it's cubicle A or office A. Instead of your, your bedroom, that's the conference room. So the same skills that you can build within your house, you can build in the real world. And then the, the neat thing is, is you can start, uh, start grabbing some of the technology that you use to even save yourself money at home. For example, uh, I, I, wish, I wish I could take this little webcam right here and I could turn it this way. I'm not going to because I spent so much time getting it just right that if I breathe on it, 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 it won't make sense anymore. But if you look over there, uh, I actually have a whole voice over IP setup. I converted my house about six months ago or so, about when I started the update of this book. I thought this would be fun. I converted it all to use SIP trunks. So what I do is I actually pay a dollar a month for each phone number that I have at my house. And then I pay, I think it's like uh, an eighth of a cent a minute for the actual calls that I make. Uh, so I don't talk on the phone too much. I know that's, that's kind of hard to believe, but, but, um, uh, when I do, I think, oh, well, I'm, I'm just using an eighth of a cent a minute. So, so I used to have three phone lines and I was paying, you know, a hundred bucks a month or so for my phone lines at home, uh, with all the taxes included And that, you know, by, by doing something really fun and cool and converting my whole house to SIP trunks, I save myself, you know, 70 bucks a month or so on, on phone charges. And I now have the knowledge to walk out and say, you know, hey, Corporation A, this is great because you can now deploy voice over IP and let, let's convert you over to some SIP trunks to uh, an ITSP, an Internet Telephony Service Provider, uh, save you the T1 class. And, and they're going, really, really, really? We can, we can convert and, and your international calls go down to pennies a minute? And, and I mean, you've now piqued their environment and piqued their interest. And they go, so, so where did you do this before? And, and you, you say, well, yeah, I've, I've, I've done this before. You know, I've set up, you know. I set up all kinds of environments, you know, and you're thinking of, yeah, my house works really well, but you actually gained a lot of the real world experience. You got excited about it and you, you're now ready to go in, in a corporate environment and you really got a cool home setup. So my, my best advice to people studying, and, and if, if, you, if you've heard some of my training before, you, you know this is my number one recommendation, is build it in your home. Build it in your own little lab environment and make it work. Now, let me say there's a difference between doing it in your home. And I, last thing I'll say, I know I know I talk too long, but last thing I'll say, there's a big difference between building this in your home and building it in a lab. Here's what I mean. It's pretty neat to you know have a, a stack of routers that you set up and a stack of switches, and you're going, oh, okay, click, 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 you know, type in some commands. Oh, look, it's it's working. And it's another thing to actually be running it in your home and saying, wow, it's actually a functional system. It's not just, you know, wasting electricity in a big pile. It's actually working. And then you mess something up and your, and your spouse comes and they're like, I, I can't call. And now you just got your first troubleshooting scenario. Your spouse is very upset at you. And I, I will tell you, that's a very motivational thing. Uh, they're very upset at you and you're going, oh man, I've got to get my home phone system back up and running. What, what did I do? Oh, I, I changed the codec to the wrong thing. So... So that's why I say, you know, people say, well, can't I just build a lab? You can, and there's a lot of value in that. But uh, again, your home is one of the best production environments where, okay, it goes down, your, your spouse is mad at you. It's not the end of the world and you're not going to lose your job, but it's definitely motivation to make something work really well.